Hello, YouTube universe. Alex here. Hey, I recently got into a discussion with somebody online about miracles in nature. Now, I do not intend to disprove, okay? I intend to provide knowledge because a understanding of natural processes leads to a healthier mind. Water is for sure an amazing product of nature. It is two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen. And that's that grouping that allows fish to live and breathe underwater. But even more amazing is those two parts hydrogen. H2O, or a water molecule, is formed using a covalent bond. Think a magnet between the positively charged hydrogen molecules and the negatively charged oxygen molecules. Now this creates one water molecule, one piece of H2O. Now water molecules are attracted to other water molecules through what's known as hydrogen bonding. Now those positively charged hydrogen molecules attract other negatively charged oxygen molecules in their environment to create uh, what we know as water. All right, so now for the amazing part. As water reaches four degrees Celsius, it begins to take up more room and the hydrogen bonding that is used to uh, group together water molecules starts to form a crystal lattice between those water molecules. Now this lattice is not solid but more of a crystalline structure. So through that crystalline structure even though the water takes up more area it becomes less dense and that is why it floats on the surface of the water. Now that's amazing. So let's run a hypothetical, okay? What if ice was more dense than water? Well, it would sink. The problem with that is that the ice would sink down to the bottom and that would continue to let the water on the surface reach freezing temperatures, which would mean that entire lakes, streams, ponds, rivers would have access to being completely frozen, which means that no life would exist in any of those areas. So as far as H2O goes, it is just one of many amazing products in our universe. So as a final thought process, what would have happened if you had never clicked on my video? YouTube provides relevancy to you based on searches that you've done and clicks that you've made on their page. So if you hadn't clicked on my video, it would show less relevancy to YouTube for you guys and your interest in science. Now that's an astounding process. Think about that. That means less science and less understanding of the world around you. So click the subscribe button, click the notification button so that you are always aware when new science is coming your way. And as always guys, thanks for watching. You have a fantastic day.